Skate Asia 89, Asia's first ever international ice skating competition, with Hong Kong hosting a large group of international skaters from all over the world. This video shows a selection of highlights from the Skate Asia week, culminating in the gala performance at the Hong Kong Coliseum. competitions took place in three arenas, City Plaza, Lychee Kok and the Hong Kong Coliseum. The City Plaza shopping centre is one of the most modern complexes in Hong Kong and the ice rink itself is designed within the centre, among the shops and restaurants. The driving forces behind Skate Asia 89 were Ted Wilson, manager and head coach at City Plaza, and John Wagner, manager of the City Plaza shopping centre. I started the group in 1985. How did you come up with the idea? It was just uh, just an idea that seemed to follow from my involvement in, in uh, amateur figure skating. There was really nothing else like it in the community, in the skating community, and it just evolved from just uh, seemed to be a natural thing to, to create. We keep a very tight schedule, so there really isn't uh, too much time for too much to go wrong. There's always the unexpected. But um, as a group, we, we stay close together, we travel as a group, and uh, the organization is very tight. Uh, the schedule, the itinerary is set long in advance. Uh, day by day, we have uh, almost an hourly schedule. So it's, it's really quite exciting, quite interesting, and actually quite easy. So when you actually started up, how many of you were there? On the original team, I believe there were was it 20 members. 20 members. Is this your first trip to Asia? Yes, this is my first time, yes, I love it. What's been the most exciting trip you've done? I know you've done an awful lot of traveling. What's the most memorable one? They've all been, I can't say, they've all been equally memorable and they, they just can't compare any of them. I've learned so much from traveling, it's just been wonderful. Have you been to Asia before? No, this is my first time over in the Orient. I think I'm getting better at this jet lag, though, <laughs> I must say. It's dreadful, isn't it? Yeah. How, what do you find that's different about Asia? Do you like the food? Um, well, we had a meal today. It's really interesting. Some of it's really good. I'm just a little weary because we're traveling. I don't want to get sick of what to try, but everything's been fabulous. The city, the shopping's great. The people are great. Everything's just been wonderful. I do the choreography of the, uh, of the precision numbers, and Scott here does the choreography of the special dance numbers and the oriental numbers. So presumably you were a big skater once yes, yourself? Yes, I was, yes. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and do you still skate now? Yes, well, you know, teach. I teach every day. So you're in skates every day with the girls? Yes. Wow, that's these girls, but different girls, you know. Just once a week these girls practice. So you actually coach other people as well? Oh yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. So where have you been travelling to in the last few months? Well, I do the, the uh, coach the Detroit precision teams and I've been down to uh, San Francisco with them. I go back home from here and go out to Rhode Island with them. So between the two teams, I keep quite busy. And do you intend to keep coaching for many years? Oh, I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> And now I hear you're the choreographer, yes, I am. or choreographer, or we all say it differently sure. in different parts yeah. of the world. <laughs> Depends on your accent. <laughs> um, have you been with them the whole time from the start? Yes, I was with Rapsi since uh, the inception four years ago. Yeah. 
And how do you come up with your ideas? How do you sort of program your training with them? Um, well, it's, it's very different for me because I, I usually train dancers, so like in jazz or tap or ballet issues. So it took me a while to learn uh, the different languages and stuff of the skating vocabulary. So, um, but the ideas come from, I guess, different inspirations that I get from my choreography with my dancers. And then I just transfer those uh, ideas onto skates. Is it easier to teach an individual or a group? I like a group because a group uh, is easier to work with because of, um, I guess, I get more energy and more inspiration with, with a long group of girls. So I guess like, you know, ice capades and different ice shows, I think it looks, there's more energy and there's more vitality in a long group of girls. You know, there's like 20 people on ice rather than just one. Yeah. Do you get nervous for them? Yes, I think so. <laughs> you two obviously work together as a team. Very, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Marge and I have been working for about two years now. Oh, yeah. It's our second year together. Thank you both very much.
full of passion. 